Greetings since the beginning of our January 5th, first week of 2023. And I don't know that um, everyone on the call or watching this call later has had a chance to look at the YouTube clip I just happened upon about having a happy brain. And it's just a, a wonderful, this gentleman doctor gave, uh, an Indian doc gave a very simple guidance and three simple practices. And the three simple practices are, when you wake up in the morning, first thing you do before you get out of bed, think of five people you know, look them in the eye and express appreciation for who they are before you get out of bed. And they don't all have to be alive. It'd be good if some of them were alive. When he led us through the exercise, as you see when you watch it later, he picked three people and then somebody at a distance and then somebody who had already gone to the other side who you could really appreciate. So, um, but five people. And then three minutes was the next instruction. And the three minutes had to do with the fact that the brain likes novelty. It doesn't like to be stuck in the same routine over and over again. Um, it likes novelty because it sparks a different set of neural connections uh, in the brain. And so the three minutes was about being conscientious with the people in your life that when you meet with somebody, say at the end of the day, or if you're having lunch with somebody and you haven't seen them in a while, it's easier because they maybe got a haircut or they have some new outfit on. And so it's easy to look at them and recognize some novelty and be really present in the moment. He was suggesting that in our family and life situations, that transitioning from places like work to home that you stop before you walk into the home, put everything aside and walk in and look at your partner, the person who you live with, as if you hadn't seen them in three weeks. And for three minutes, give them your undivided attention and comment on their, something that they did or what were they doing, just having that important one-on-one -on -one conversation where you're fully, fully present. So that's three minutes. And then of course you go back to checking your text and your email and getting, doing whatever, right? And then the third thing that he suggested, it was five people, three minutes and two seconds. And the two second practice I'm finding really fascinating and the two seconds was every person you meet, wherever it is and whoever they are, give them a two second blessing. I bless you with healing, happiness, and joy. And not, not even out loud, but just with your presence, with your awareness, with your thought process, just bless them before you judge. So the tendency of the mind to always pass judgment and want people to improve and be better and be different than they are, instead of just allowing them to be who they are. So it happened with me with the homeless woman on the side of the street when I was when God made it a perfect opportunity for me because I was stopped at the light and I was the only one there. And I had an opportunity to bless her and give her some, some a few dollars, right? And later on when I thought about it, I thought I could have given her a little more. And I might, have, might do that the next time. But the point is, is that uh, in reprogramming the mind, and the brain chemistry to find happiness and joy, these are the kind of steps that are necessary. So we can't see people as a threat. We can't look at them and make judgment and wanna fix them. We have to allow what the ancients tell us is true, is that God is in every form. 
even the homeless woman at the side of the street. So it's a wonderful uh, YouTube clip. It's 18 minutes. I really suggest you watch it. I watched it three times. I watched it three times. And I've been doing the practices for the past three days. And I invite you all to do it with me until we meet again on the third Thursday of this month. So I had some notes here just in case I needed them, but I decided not to use them. So that's uh, an opportunity in your Dharma talk and thinking about how to create healthier, happier brain states in 2023. And it's all yoga. It is a yoga practice. So there you go. Mm -hmm.